guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video more specifically a nail tutorial so in today's video i'm going to be showing y'all how i achieved this set using the double dip ps i love you valentine's day kit and this is such a perfect set for valentine's day it's simple and it's still cute and it has that pop of pink glitter and if you love pink and red shades you are going to love this kit it is definitely one of my favorite kits and i'm just so in love with all of the shades as well as how the shades perform so now let's get started so I can show y'all some swatches and the colors that come in the kit. So starting with the first shade, I have the shade Fingers Crossed, which is going to have some light sparkle to it. And we're also going to have the shade Pink Wings, which is going to be a solid pink color. Then I also have this pretty glittery color called Pretty Petals. And then we're also going to have this shade called Sticky Date, which is going to be more of like a hot pink glitter. And then I also have the shade Wild One, which is going to be a red glitter. And then, of course, we have a solid red, which is called Chanel Rogue. And these are all of the powders that come in the kit. Like I said, all of the colors are so pretty. I literally can't pick a favorite because they're all my favorite. And yeah, the quality of the powders are so good, especially for the price. And I'm also going to be using my double dip liquids along with the powders. Now let's get started with the manicure. So I am starting with my nail tips already on as well as my nails shaped and I did already build the structure of my nail using my clear dip powder. I just like to do three dips in clear before applying any color. So the colors I will be using for this Valentine's Day inspired manicure is the shade Pink Winks as well as Sticky Date. So starting off I am going to be taking the step two dip base and just applying this to three fourths of my nail. This is basically what's going to make the dip powder stick onto our nail. And I would also like to add that I do have peel base on so that is why I did not use a step one primer or anything like that. So of course if you want your manicures to last go ahead and apply a step one primer or dehydrator to your nails before applying any dip powder. So what I've been liking to do is actually laying my nail flat into the powder. I feel like it reduces filing time because it just lays so much more smoothly and evenly onto my nail rather than dipping the nail. So I've been preferring to do that. I know it's been around, people have been doing that for a while, but I just recently started trying it and I love doing that instead of dipping my nail now. So I'm going to be repeating that step of applying the base to three fourths of my nail and dipping into the shade Pink Winks. And I won't be applying the shade onto my ring finger just because that's going to be our glitter accent nail. So we want to keep that one empty for glitter. So now that we're on to our ring finger, it is time to switch our shades to the shade Sticky Date. So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing and just taking my base coat and applying it to three fourths of my nail and just laying my nail flat into the glitter. So now for my favorite hack when using any glitter dip powders, whether it's chunky or just like this one, I like to take a sandwich baggie or a saran wrap and just press the glitter down onto my nail while that base coat is still wet. By pushing the glitter down, we're just going to help it lay evenly and flatly onto our nail, which in the end can reduce filing time. Now moving back into the shade Pink Wink, since we have that glitter color on our ring finger, so I'm just going to be applying the base coat to three fourths of my nail once again, and then laying my finger flat into the powder. Now that we have our first layer of color on and it's completely dry, I'm going to be taking a brush and just dusting away all that excess powder before going on to our second layer of color. So now to build our colors up a little bit more, I'm going to be doing a second layer, so taking my base coat and just applying this a hairline away from my cuticle area. And carefully laying my nail flat into the powder and repeating that step by applying the base a hairline away from our cuticle area just until I get to my ring finger because we will be switching to our glitter shade once again. Now switching to our glitter shade and I literally almost dropped that shade. I would have been so sad. So I'm going to be taking my base coat and applying it a hairline away from my cuticle area still. Ryan Little. <laughs> and while my base coat is still wet, I'm going to be taking my sandwich baggie and just using it to press down the glitter onto my nail to make sure that it's nice and flat. And switching back to the pink wink shade and applying the base coat in the same area that I've been applying it, which is a hairline away from my cuticle area. And now brushing off all the excess powder now that we have the second layer of our color on all of our nails. So now I am going to be doing a third and final dip into each of our colors. But 
Honestly, as I'm editing this, I'm realizing that three dips of the colors were not necessary. I feel like two dips was good enough, but you know, it is what it is. And I already did the three dips of colors. So I'm just gonna show that in the video, but I feel like the colors are very opaque. So therefore you don't really have to do three dips to build them up unless you want to, of course. I know it's all about preference, but either way for my third and final dip into the color, I did apply the base coat a hairline away from my cuticle area and just laid my nail flat into the powder. <laughs> so I now have my three layer of colors on and now it's time to encapsulate our nails in clear before we do any filing just to protect the color and the glitter we put down. This step is always important. So I'm just going to be taking my base coat and applying it to all of my nail and then dipping into my clear powder which I don't recommend. Definitely recommend pouring the clear dip powder over your nail so you don't cross contaminate it like I did. I have glitter in my clear dip powder. I don't know if you can tell. So yeah, make sure you pour the clear over your nail and don't come for me because I have glitter in my clear dip powder. Okay, it was an accident. So now one last step before we start doing any filing, I'm going to be taking the step three activator and just applying this all over the nail. This is going to harden all of the dip powder and make sure it is not going to crumble up and get gooey when we start filing and then waiting about a minute for that to dry before filing. So now to start our filing process, I like to first take my e-file and I'm just taking this Pana cuticle safety bit and just using it to get really close to my cuticle area and just make sure it's nice and clean. And since I did lay my nail flat into the powder, I don't feel like there's a lot of filing necessary. I of course just have to fix a little things like the cuticle area in the shape. But other than that, I feel like the application looks so good and that there's not a lot of filing to do, thankfully. So now to bring my shape back to life because it did get covered in dip powder, I'm going to be taking my 180 grit nail file from a cart and just going along the sides of my nails just to fix the shape. And now lastly, taking an orange buffing block and just using this to buff out all of my nails and just making sure that they're nice and even and that they look smooth from this side. So after we have our filing done, we still have to activate our nails one more time before applying our top coat. So I'm just gonna be applying this all over my nails <laughs> and in order to prevent cross contaminating my top coat with my activator which will cause the brush of the top coat to harden which is a problem that I used to struggle with a lot I'm going to be spraying some alcohol onto a lint free wipe and just wiping my nail really really good with that lint free wipe So we are now ready for our step 4 top coat and I'm just so in love with how the manicure turned out and the colors I used. So I'm going to be applying one thin layer of the top coat to my nail and just making sure to apply it in a few strokes. I always love applying a top coat onto the glitter nail because I feel like it just looks so satisfying watching it go from matte to glossy and this is such a pretty pink glittery shade. I am so obsessed. And then letting that air dry for about 30 seconds or until completely dry before we apply our second coat. And then once it's completely dry, we're going to be applying a second coat of the top coat just to really get that extra glossy finish. Mm -hmm. 
And now letting that air dry, it can sometimes take about five minutes for mine to dry. I don't know, I feel like it just varies sometimes. So just wait until it's completely dry before doing anything else. And once it's completely dried, I'm gonna be taking, lastly, some cuticle oil because my cuticles look dusty and dry. So I'm just gonna be applying this all over my cuticles. And that completes our manicure using the PS I Love You kit by Double Dip Nails. I love how the nails turned out and I love how simple, but it still has that pop of pink glitter. Super Valentine's Day inspired. So thank y'all so much for watching today's video. And as always, check the description box for all of the links to the products I did use, as well as my discount code with Double Dip Nails. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys.